Shalom, giving all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahawa Chakwarash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutation as always to the elect, being brought back to the Heavenly Father through the sacrifice made by Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, who offered himself up as a sacrifice for the elect of the nation of Israel, all right, which is the 144,000 in a large multitude. All right, and eventually, once everything is set up and the rebels are purged out, all Israel will be born into the covenant, righteousness, okay, with the law, statutes, and commandments written inside of us, okay, and this is what we're fighting for, so that we can be called the sons of the Most High, all right, Yashar Allah, princes of the power, okay, and reign as kings and priests on the earth. So, in this lesson, I wanted to uh, touch on this scripture and uh, come at it from another aspect. I love bringing this scripture out um, and it just shows you how the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets, okay? And as we read about our forefathers, all right, Isaiah, you know, Jeremiah, Zephaniah, you know, King David, you know, all all of these men are at our part of a, of a holy, all right, church, all right, that was ordained from the heavens. And every time these men come on the planet Earth, all right, they would have the refined counsel. They would have the 100% truth, all right, on what to tell the Israelites in order to bring them back to the Heavenly Father. Okay, as the, as the scriptures say, that Elijah the prophet, okay, who was at the forefront of the prophets, you know, John the Baptist, he basically anointed baptized Yahweh Shai, okay? He embodies the prophets, okay? So he would turn the hearts of the father to the children and the hearts of the children to the father, okay? And our fathers are the prophets, okay? These are our leaders. These are the leaders of the nation of Israel whom will come to you, okay, and bring you the message that will lead to you repenting and eventually being delivered. Okay, so the, the guys that say that men, all right, are not needed within this whole mind frame and that uh, within this whole story and that the Lord isn't dealing with men, then they ultimately don't understand the Bible. Their minds have been blinded. They can break down all of the scriptures right. They can be telling, but when, when they say that, that lets you know that there's a disconnect and that they don't understand what they're a part of. Okay, they don't understand what they're even trying to be a part of. Okay, they just know that they're Israelites and have some information, okay? So I'm going to read this scripture and uh, we're going to get into how the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. And we represent, all right, Isaiah. We represent Jeremiah. Okay. We represent, all right, all of the holy men. All right. We represent Enoch. All of these different men, okay, are tied and linked to one another. Okay. Just as Enoch was beamed up and, and delivered from the destruction and hell that was going on on the earth at that time, we're going to be beamed up, okay, just as Jeremiah came and preached, okay, tried to warn Israel of the destruction that was coming to them via the Babylonians, we're trying to warn our people, and what are we doing, catching hell, Isaiah, okay, warning Jake not to make covenants with the heathen nations, okay, cursing out other Israelites for their rebellion and wickedness, okay, to telling them to put down the idols telling them to stop celebrating Christmas Jeremiah did that okay Isaiah spoke out against the different idols and trees that our people were bound themselves to eating swine okay Isaiah sp speaks out about how our people love and enjoy eating swine and they are basically have a holier than thou mentality okay these church jakes okay so we are linked to the prophets and the prophets are linked to us if we are those men because some of some of us are those men now the thing you have to understand is that not every prophet that preached was spoken about in the holy scriptures and we'll get into that and uh ultimately go into how this all ties together and hopefully through the spirit you're edified so i'm going to go ahead and uh start this is second edris chapter 2 and 18 it says for thy help all right for thy help he's speaking to the nation of israel Okay, and our people are in need of help. They're in need of comfort. However, 
amongst them, there's only a particular remnant that's going to hearken into the message of these men. Okay, so for thy help, which we need help, okay, will I send my servants, Isaiah and Jeremiah, all right? Now it says uh, Esau, and the way you say uh, Isaiah in the uh, Greek is... Um, Strong's G, 2268, S-E-I-S, S-E-I-S. So when it was translated, all right, into the English, all right, they just put Esau, but it's Isaiah. Okay, who was a prophet of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. We know that Esau is spoken of as profane. Okay, he's not a servant of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. He's not a servant of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, he's a servant of Jesus Christ, <laughs> the, the great demon. Okay, but the, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, through his son Yahweh Shai, didn't choose Esau. Okay, he's not spoken of in a good light in the scripture. So, this is speaking of Isaiah. Okay, for thy help will I send my servants Isaiah and Jeremiah and these two are symbolic of all of the prophets okay and that's what we're going to get into how the spirit of the prophets is subject to the prophets because they had the refined counsel it says after whose counsel I have sanctified you see that their counsel would be sanctified okay their doctrine would be pure there they would have the 100% truth the men all right now he's just saying Isaiah and Jeremiah but ultimately we understand that this is speaking of all of the prophets because now Ezra was around at the time of the rebuilding of the temple those who had returned all right to Jerusalem okay to rebuild the temple and Ezra was around all right between uh 500 and 400 BC okay whereas Jeremiah all right was around between 700 and 600 BC as Isaiah all right 800 to 700 BC okay so Isaiah and Jeremiah had already come you see so what exactly is Ezra speaking of and see this is this is where you have to uh you know receive things in the spirit okay so for thy help and we'll get the whole thing I will send my servants Isaiah and Jeremiah after whose counsel I have sanctified so their words that they were speaking would be sanctified and sent directly from the heavens and prepare for thee all right 12 trees laden with diverse fruits man which is this wisdom man okay the kingdom of heaven is going to come through the words okay which these men speak okay which will lead you to repentance and ultimately to being delivered all right, as the scriptures say, and I believe Proverbs 3, Proverbs 3 and 18, speaking of wisdom, it says, She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her. All right, happy is everyone that retaineth her. This is our alma mater, wisdom, okay? And that wisdom is given to particular men. So the Lord likened those particular men in that particular scripture to Isaiah and Jeremiah. And we're going to go to particular things all right in which links us directly to them and why he would say that man okay but before that i'm gonna go ahead and get this all right this is uh second address all right chapter 36 and i'll start at 14 it says fill sion with thy unspeakable oracles all right what is an oracle okay all right an oracle is a priest or priestess acting as a medium whom advice or prophecy was sought from the gods and classical all right a prophet okay it says prophetess sibyl seer augur prognosticator diviner soothsayer but we're that in righteousness man okay we're we're priest okay and we would give the advice that would lead our people to having a righteous mind frame. So fill Sion with thy unspeakable oracles and give in thy people with thy glory. And that's the wisdom, man. And when our people are on one accord with the Heavenly Father, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man, we're unstoppable, man. You see that? And that's what you see happening here in these latter days through this word going out, man. So how would Sion, which is Israel, the Lord's monument, okay, how would 
they be filled with those unspeakable oracles, the elect, right? He would give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning and raise up prophets that have been in thy name, okay? So these particular prophets are back today, and that's what we're going to get into, man. Okay? Now, this is Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 27. Speaking of wisdom and being one, and being but one, she can do all things. <laughs> in being one, she can do all things. Speaking of wisdom, and remaining in herself, okay, she maketh all things new. In all ages, entering into holy souls, she maketh them friends of God and prophets. So wisdom in different ages would enter into holy souls, okay, <laughs> and sanctify their counsel and make them friends of God and prophets, okay? Abraham was likened unto the Most High's friend because of his belief and his faith. So there will be a gift inside of these men that will be implanted in them, and that gift will return to them in all ages, and this is that final age, man. As, as the Lord himself said in the book of John, okay, the book of John chapter 14, Okay, in 25, it says, these things have I spoken unto you being present with you because he was the comforter when he walked with, the, with those men. Okay, it says, but the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, okay, <laughs> he shall teach you all things. All right, which is speaking of wisdom, okay, and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. You see that? So all things will be brought to the to our remembrance, okay, through the Holy Spirit in these latter days, man. So that's how Sion would get ultimately the understanding, man. The breakdown through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai raising these particular men up, man. And these are the leaders. Okay? These are the leaders that the Lord have set up. All right, for you to get understanding, man. Okay? This is 1 Corinthians 14 and 32. And the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets, man. So there have been various prophets that have been, all right, uh, 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 foreordained from the foundation of the earth, which is 144,000 of them, okay? As the Lord told, uh, uh, what did he tell uh, Elijah, man? Okay, let's get Romans 11. Okay. <laughs> When Isaiah was complaining, saying he was the only one, Romans 11 and 4 says, But what said the answer of God unto him? I have reserved unto myself 7,000 men, okay, which that's just seven is completion, okay, but it said 7,000, okay, and we understand 144,000 who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal, man. So these men ain't going to take the chip. Okay, these men are going to speak against the system. All right, these men are going to cause, all right, uh, 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 great kingdoms to fall through their words, man. They're not going to bow to the image of the beast, man. And this is our message to the people, which is why we're hated, man, because we are telling our people to return back to the Heavenly Father, just as Isaiah did, just as Jeremiah did, man. We're linked to the prophets. The spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets, man. Okay? And... This is Sirach, the 44th chapter, because I want to make this point. Then I'll move on, okay? There are particular prophets that weren't spoken about, man, that don't have books. Now, they, they have writings. They may have had scribes, but the Lord didn't choose them, okay, to, to ultimately, ultimately have a book, okay, uh, written about. But we know through reading the scriptures that there's 144,000 of them. Okay, who were chosen from the foundation of the earth. Okay, this is Sirach 44 and 1. Let us now praise famous men, our fathers that begat us. Okay, just as Yahweh told those scribes and Pharisees who were rebelling against him, those wicked niggas, that they were uh, uh, of their uh, fathers. Okay, they're, they, they are the uh, children of them who killed the prophets. Well, you have the prophets and we're their children back in our lot. Okay, as the as the spirit told Daniel, okay, 
As a matter of fact, let's get that in Daniel. Uh, uh, forget how it's worded, I believe. Okay. Verse 13. This is what the, the Lord told Daniel. It says, But go thou thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of days. You see that? See, Daniel's back here today. Job is back here today. Okay, but go thou thy way unto the end be, for thou shalt rest, all right, and stand in thy lot, all right, in the end of days, okay? And his lot is to have that sanctified counsel, all right, just as Isaiah and Jeremiah did, man, okay? Now, going back here, okay, he's Sirach 44, all right, and one, let us now praise famous men and our fathers that begat us, okay? It says, uh, the Lord have wrought great glory by them and through his great power from the beginning. It says, such as did bear rule in their kingdoms, men renowned for their power, giving counsel by their understanding and declaring prophecies. You see that? These men got to come back. Okay. Th these are the famous men. Okay. The great men that the Lord has, has sent you. Okay. And this is their heritage. This is their lot. Okay. You, as Jeremiah said uh, in Jeremiah 20, all right, he wanted to stop speaking, but his, his spirit burned inside of him, man. It's in him to do this. That same spirit would be in us in these latter days, which is what, what, what's keeping us to going, man. It's not by our own will that we're doing this. Leaders of the people by their counsels and by their knowledge, all right, of learning meet for the people wise and eloquent in their instructions. Such as found out musical tunes and recited verses in writing. There were poets, rich men furnished with ability, living peaceably in their habitations. All of the men of the Lord weren't destitute in low level. Okay, we come lowly now, but when you look at a lot of our forefathers, man, they, they were uh, rich, okay, and, and had particular things, man. Some of them were poor, but ultimately, our legacy is to have the fatness of the earth, man. Okay, under Yahweh Shah, we're going to have that. OK, it says all these were were honored in their generations and were the glory of their times. OK, it says there be of them that have left a name behind that their praises might be reported. So their praises where you have particular uh, men of the Lord whose praises were reported, man. It says in some there be which have no memorial who are perished as though they had never been and are become as though they had never been born. And their children after them. So you have particular prophets who weren't even wrote about, man. Who 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 weren't who we have no record of. Okay? And they and their children after them, meaning there's particular men set up preaching somewhere who you don't know where they at. You don't even know they exist. The Lord has it set up like that, man. But says, But these were merciful men whose righteousness have not been forgotten. With their seed shall continually remain a good inheritance. <laughs> and that's that truth, man. And their children are within the covenant, man. Okay, because through them, the Lord will have that mercy and that, all right, uh, a second covenant under Yahweh will be fulfilled when he put those law, statutes, and commandments, man, in us. Okay, their seed standeth fast in their children for their sakes. Their seed shall remain forever and their glory shall not be blotted out. All right, <laughs> you see that? So, so. Then it goes into particular, all right, of those men. Enoch, Noah, we're likened unto those men, brothers. Okay, you can look at their lives and their story and somehow, some way tie it to the upliftment of the elect, man. All right, and particular things that happen in your in, uh, to us, man. We could tie it to them. Noah, we're building the ark. We're sp building the spiritual temple now. Okay, Enoch, all right, he was a preacher of righteousness, man. Okay, he had to he had to see, all right, uh, uh, his people going going to hell off, and all right, Cain's wicked line, all right, rape, rob, and murder, all right, the planet, man. Okay, name in particular lands after themselves. Okay, that's what Enoch had to witness, but he was delivered from that and beamed up and translated, man. All right, Abraham, you have all of these great men. His faith, his faith. All right, is what pleased the Heavenly Father, man. Our faith, all right, what we're doing, it takes faith, man. 
it takes some serious faith to do what we're doing. We we got this word and we took it and ran with it. That that's like it unto what Abraham did when he was all right ordered of the Lord, all right to go to a particular uh, uh, land, man. Okay, he he didn't ask no questions. He just did it, man. You see that? He believed. So all of these men, all right, are pretty much tied to us, the elect. And as the scriptures say, there's some of them who have no memorial. All right, like right here. 1 Samuel 10 and 10, it says, And when they came thither to the hill, behold, a company of prophets met him, and the Spirit of God came upon him, and he prophesied among them. We don't we don't know uh, where these uh, prophets are. All right, who these prophets are that he, he was prophesying with, man. You know, this is speaking of Saul. We don't we don't know. All right, uh, Samuel. So like you, Samuel. Okay. Let's see here. So he was speaking with. We don't know the name of those prophets, man. Okay, another example. 1 Kings 18 and 4. For it was so when Jezebel cut off the prophets of the Lord that Obadiah took a hundred prophets and hid them by 50 in a cave and fed them with bread and water. Now, could you imagine that, man? That's beautiful, man. But we don't know the name of those 100 prophets, but they were prophets. You see? So going back here, okay, uh, in 2 Ezra, Go to 2nd Ezra 2. All right, we'll start at 1. We'll go to 1 and read uh, a little bit here. All right, speaking of uh, the men of the Lord, man. How he's going to cut off the two-thirds and set up, all right, the righteous, man. All right, it says 2nd uh, Ezra chapter 1, okay, in 37. I take to witness the grace of God of the people to come whose little ones rejoice in gladness and though they have not seen me with bodily eyes yet in spirit they believe the thing that i say all right through faith okay and this is basically that remnant man whom he's going to have mercy on it says and now brother behold what glory and see the people that come from the east unto whom for leaders all right unto whom i will give for leaders abraham isaac Jacob, all right. There's gonna name the uh the, the twelve prophets, which we know there were more. All right. Twelve thousand out of each tribe. It says Hosea, all right, Amos, Micah, Joel, Obadiah, Jonas, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi, who is called also the angel of the lord all right a message he was a messenger of the lord man okay so what do you have leaders okay and these some of these particular prophets had already come so when he said he's gonna give unto you all right these men for leaders all right what does that mean that mean that these men are gonna be raised back up man okay so going here second edgers chapter two all right and one it says thus said the lord i brought this people out of bondage and i gave them my commandments by men servants the prophets <laughs> you see that who was that moses aaron all right whom they would not hear but despise my counsels okay they always have done that okay it says the mother which is wisdom that bear them okay said unto them go your way ye children for i am a widow and forsaken because our people forsook all right the lord man it says i brought you up with gladness but not, but with sorrow and heaviness have i lost you for ye have sinned before the lord your god and done the thing that is evil before him okay it says but what shall i uh now do unto you i am a widow forsaken go your way O my children and ask for mercy of the lord <laughs> as for me O father i call upon thee for a witness over the mother of these children 
which would not keep my covenant. So we broke that covenant, man. Okay, that thou bring them to confusion and their mother to a spoil, and there may be no offspring of them. Let them be scattered abroad among the heathen. Let their names be put out of the earth, and, and for they have despised my covenant. Meaning we wouldn't, we would be a no people, man. Okay, <laughs> it says, and this is when it says no offspring of them. Meaning basically the Lord took the truth away from us, man. Okay. The mother was wisdom. It became a spoil. The Lord took it away, man. Okay. And we were scattered. Okay. And when you when you go all the way down, okay. Let's get to the point. Uh, let's see. Uh, go to verse uh, 16. It says, And those that be dead will I raise up again from their places and bring them out of their graves, for I have known my name in Israel. Fear not, thou mother of the children, for I have chosen thee, saith the Lord. For thy help will I send my servants, Isaiah and Jeremiah, after whose counsel I have sanctified and prepared for thee twelve trees laden with diverse fruits, and as many mountains flow with milk and honey, seven mighty mountains whereupon grow roses and lilies, whereby I fill thy children with joy. Because the earth is going to be turned unto paradise through this wisdom, man. And this wisdom is likened to paradise, man. Because they go hand in hand. Okay, once the ways of righteousness are implemented on the earth through the men of the Lord, this earth is going to flourish. Just as it did at the time when Adam, all right, was, was in his right mind and doing the right thing, man. Okay, so he would send us his servants, man. Now, what, what, what? Now, if if Isaiah was a man, okay, and Jeremiah was a man, what made them all right, righteous, all right, and sanctified in the eyes of the Lord, man? Well, we're gonna go into particular things, all right, that give you a clue, okay? And this applies to us as well, brothers. Okay, Isaiah 6 and 5, then said I, this is Isaiah, woe is me for I am done because I am a man of unclean lips. All right, he was letting his sins weigh him down and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. All right, they were going off, man. For mine eyes have seen the king, the Lord of hosts. Okay, because basically he saw a vision. All right, of the heavens, man. He saw an angel, okay? He was like, whoa! When he saw that angel, he was basically like, I'm not worthy. Okay? He's like, I'm undone. Ha ha, you know? <laughs> that was too holy, man. You know? It, it said it had six wings and covered his face. All right? And this is when King Uzziah died that same year, okay? He saw the Lord sitting up on the throne, man. Okay? So when he saw that, he said, then said I, woe is me for I'm undone because I'm a man of unclean lips and I dwell in the midst of, an un of a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the king, the Lord of hosts. It says, then flew one of the seraphims unto me, all right, having a coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongs from the altar. Okay, so there's an altar in the heavens, brothers. Okay. There's an altar in the heavens. Okay, there's there's a priesthood in the heavens, man. Who's Melchizedek? Where does Yahweh Shai sit on the right hand of the Most High at? In the heavens, man. So there was a, a, a coal taken off of the altar by an angel. Okay? And what did he say? And he laid it upon my mouth, man, and said unto me, This, this hath touched thy lips, and thine iniquity is taken away, and thy sin is purged. So he was one of those men, all right, as it says here in 2nd Ezra, all right, whose counsel was sanctified, all right, by the Most High himself through a holy angel, man. Okay? And there's 144,000 of these men. Okay? So the angel took, all right, a coal, all right, off of the altar in the heavens, 
okay, which he have taken with the tongs from, from off the altar, okay, and he laid it upon Isaiah's mouth, all right, and said his iniquity was taken away, man, okay, and when you look up this word mouth, hold up, I mean lips, okay, what the, uh, the, the cold touched his lips, man, and that Hebrew word is sapa, all right, it says lip, all right, language, speech, shore, bank, brim, all right, border, okay, language, okay, so it's speaking of speech, man, meaning his counsel, man, that's why the scriptures say in their mouth is found no gal in Revelation, the 14th chapter, man, okay, because the angels, all right, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, is speaking directly through them, okay, have cleansed all right, their, their counsel, man, and sanctified it, you see, <laughs> and then what did he say, all right, and I heard a voice of the Lord saying, whom shall I send, who will go for us, then he said, here I am, send me, and he said, go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but hear not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not, so the angels also have particular people who they block off from hearing that message, that the prophets speak. How about that? There ain't no leader. I don't need to listen to no man. Them type of niggas. Okay? And this prophecy is fulfilled in you niggas, all right, just as it was fulfilled in those who were rejecting the Messiah when he came on the scene and who rejected the prophets when they came on the scene because we're all a brotherhood, okay? That's why Yahweh Shai said, I and the children whom the Lord have sent me or for signs and wonders amongst Israel, man. You see that? <laughs> so his iniquity was taken away. His sense, he was perfect. Now, he was just a man in the flesh. Isaiah was a man in the flesh, man. But he's perfect in the spirit. Okay? And there's 144,000 of these men that come in that same spirit and order, man. Okay? <laughs> All right, who have what? You can't condemn their speech. All right, this is uh, Titus 2 and 7. In all things, showing thyself a pattern of good works and doctrine, showing uncorruptness, gravity, sincerity, sound speech that cannot be condemned, that he this, that is of the contrary may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say of you. Okay, because those men, ultimately, there's going to come a day where you people are going to have to acknowledge that we're the men of the Lord. You see, right now we're just speaking, but eventually we're going to be doing things, man. And, and that spiritual power ain't coming to you if you don't believe it, man. Okay? So Isaiah was 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 sanctified, all right, by, all right, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and the holy angels, man. The angels speak through these men. Okay? Let's get Jeremiah, the first chapter. Okay? And these men come to comfort you. All right? This is Jeremiah chapter 1. All right. And five, it says, this is uh, verse four. Then the word of the Lord came unto me saying, before I formed thee, this is speaking of uh, Jeremiah, I knew thee. All right. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. Everybody's talking about their saved and sanctified. Well, if the Lord didn't sanctify you from the foundations of the earth, you threw Okay, Chadash, okay, Chadash, to be consecrated, uh, sanctified, prepared, dedicate, to be hallowed, okay, to be holy, remember that word hallowed, okay, to be holy, to be sanctified, to be separated, okay, and, and, and this happened from the foundation of the earth, man, all right, this is Revelation chapter 14 and 4, speaking of the 144,000. All right, these are they which are not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the land whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, redeemed from among men, being the first fruits of God unto God and unto the Lamb. And in their mouth was found no gal, for they are without fault before the throne of God, no matter what you can find in their flesh. And that's another thing. If you want me to lead, 
you're going to find some form of folly, man. You're going to you're going to see some form of 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 uh if you're around me enough or if you watch me enough and if you listen to me, you're going to hear something or, or see something that that'll that'll make you be like, "What?" You see that? If you're going to if you want me to lead, then you, you don't think I'm going to make any mistakes? You people when when a brother makes one mistake, it's just he's he's the worst you know now there there's you do have some wicked niggas out there that have done some wicked uh actually trying to harm brothers actually you know stealing and doing things like that from brothers but there's particular f things mistakes that men are going to make in the flesh hell look at your king david look at solomon look at adam look at look at all of the men that came before you okay they 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 had fault man so just because you can find fault with me in the flesh, I could do the same thing to you. That's an everlasting argument. But the Lord sets everything in order and puts his foot down when he said, who can lay any charge to these men? Okay. What's that? Uh... <laughs> Romans, all right, 8 and 33. Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justified. You see that? It is God that justified, man. <laughs> who is he that condemned? Who that condemned? It is Hamashiach that died. He died for the elect and rose again. He was a he's a he's a on living sacrifice. Who could not death is not he's not subject to death. Like the the lambs and, and goats under the the first covenant we had to. So you who 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 the hell are you? Okay, who who can be against these men if the Lord have sanctified and and, 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 and uh, purified their counsel and what they have to say? Before we were formed in the belly, brothers, all right, we were ordained, we were sanctified, we were hallowed, man, for the purpose of coming to this earth and prophesying and telling these people to shut the hell up. Because people got to shut the hell up, man. That's... Really, the message is that you people need to shut the hell up and we need to talk, man. We, the prophets, are the ones that need to do the talking. You people need are, are, are losing it through. Okay? So, in their mouth was found no gal, for they are without fault before the throne of God. Okay? And that goes to uh, 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 Proverbs, okay, uh, Psalms chapter 32. Blessed is he whom the Lord does not impute sin and in whom spirit there is no gal man so they're sanctified man okay and i saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven having an everlasting gospel because that angel is speaking through these 144,000 who are singing this new song in verse three it comes from the heavens okay remember this it says and they sung as it were a new song who the 144,000 sung the new song all right, but it says in the in the heavens, he heard the the great thunder and harps. So there's things going on in the heavens that is directly, all right, responsible for what we say. All right, and 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 it's nothing you can do about it. And those men will be justified because Hamashiach, the Lamb, justified them through the Spirit of His Father. How about that? Okay, and before we were born. Okay, the Lord knew us, man. So the Lord is going to send you Isaiah and Jeremiah, okay, which is basically those whom he he re, he refined their speech, man. Okay, <laughs> there we go, back in Jeremiah. He re, he refined their speech, man. Okay. Okay. Just like this angel took those tongues from off the altar, man, and put it up on his mouth, all right, and touched his lips. So what he was speaking, all right, was, was holy, man, okay? So Jeremiah 1 and 5, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee to be a prophet unto the nations. You see that? <laughs> You see that? And and then said, I, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak for I'm a child. I'm just a child, man. What do you mean? 
I'm gonna go out there and speak to the to, to these to these nations, to these niggas. And Jeremiah, boy, he was on fire, man. Read uh chapter seven. That's like a famous curse out, man, where he just went to the court, man, and just l let Jake have it. I believe chapter six, seven, and eight, or something like that. Just read. I believe it's seven. Okay. It says, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. Okay, going back to Second Edris, all right, what did he say? I will send my servants, Isaiah and Jeremiah, after whose counsel I have sanctified. Sanctified. Okay? <laughs> so Jeremiah was one of those men. That's why the Lord said, I will send them. And this is symbolic of us, brothers, the prophets, Lord willing, were those men. And are ordained thee to be a prophet unto the nations. Okay? <laughs> and verse 7 says, But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. So the, what we say is commanded of the Heavenly Father, man. But it takes ears to hear that message man not everybody is created to hear that message as we read in isaiah the lord blocks particular people off from hearing and accepting that message to their own destruction okay and that's right here and the messiah quoted this i believe in the 15th chapter of matthew saying this people draw nigh unto me with their with their heart paul quoted it okay saying in them is that don't hear it is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah so they understood that not everybody would understand and re accept this message okay and, he, and you're going to be destroyed for that <laughs> all right Isaiah 49 and 1 listen O owls unto me and hearken ye people from far the Lord have called me from the womb from the bowels of my mother he have made mention of my name Woo! And this goes for all of us, all of us who fall in that lot. This is really speaking of us, man. Start with Yahawashai, man. Okay? Because really, it, start, it all starts with Yahawashai, man. Okay? It says, um, He hath made my mouth like a sharp sword, all right? And the shadow of his hand hath he hid me and made me a polished shaft in his quiver Hath he hit me? And the prophets are like hitting, man. Okay? It says, And he said unto me, Thou art my servant, O Israel, in whom I will be glorified. Then I said, I have labored in vain, have spent my strength for naught in vain, yet surely my judgment is with the Lord, all right, and my work with my God. Okay? Because our people won't, won't listen, man. Okay? But that's just how it's supposed to be. It says, and now saith the Lord that formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob again to him. This is what we're doing. Okay, so there, the men of the Lord are very important. And to have that spirit to speak against, all right, the fact that there's going to be men of the Lord because you're mad and you're offended is wicked, man. All right, and that's why you guys are going to be destroyed, man. It says, though Israel be not gathered, all right, yet shall i be glorious in the eyes of the lord because all israel ain't going to come together when the men of the lord all right uh, are preaching his word eventually the elect are going to be sealed all right and the rebels purged, and all israel is going to come together in the kingdom all right but only the remnant is going to return now it says yet shall i be glorious in the eyes of the lord all right and my god shall be my strength okay and it says and he said, it is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved of Israel. Okay, which in these times that started with, all right, Elijah the prophet, man. Okay, Abba Bivens, he came. Okay, and, and now we have this, this, this truth, man. Before the great and dreadful day of the Lord, man. It says, I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles that thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. Now, this is speaking of Yahawashai, but with him comes his men. You cannot stop that process. These are they which follow the lamb whithersoever he goeth, man. 
These, all right, have their father's name written in their forehead. So we are that light as well, all right, to the Gentiles who will be brought back to the covenant through belief and faith in what they are hearing, the words from the men of the Lord. So Yahweh is ultimately that salvation. He is the word, but we have the words. Okay, as he said, all right, in John the 17th chapter, I have given unto them all that thou hast given unto me. Okay, just as it was in the beginning. Okay, the blueprint to create all things was given unto this body of men. Okay, and these are the prophets, man. Thus saith the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel, and his Holy One, all right, and whom, and whom man despise it. <laughs> all right, which is Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, who is his Holy One? Okay, and who are his Holy Ones? To whom the, the nation abhor it, <laughs> to a servant of... All right, of uh, uh, rulers, kings shall see and arise, princes also shall worship because of the Lord that is faithful and the Holy One of Israel, all right, and he shall choose thee, all right? Thus saith the Lord, in an acceptable time have I heard thee, in a day of salvation have I helped thee, all right, and I will preserve thee and give thee for a covenant, okay, Yahweh Shai, okay, but then under him those men have to have that word that brings our people to the covenant the elect those who have ears to hear man and it says and for salvation i have helped thee what did the lord say here all right for thy help i will send my servants who come in that lot see we're all tied together brothers we're tied together with yahweh shai man we're joint heirs with him so as this is speaking of yahweh shai being a light all right unto the gentiles we are also that light, man, lifting up his name, that banner, man. Okay? <laughs> I will give and I give thee for a covenant of the people to establish the earth and to cause to inherit the desolate heritages, man. That thou mayest say to the prisoners, our people are prisoners, man, in their mind, go forth to them that are in darkness, show yourself, all right, they shall feed in the way and their pasture shall be in all high places man i didn't plan on reading as much man but this is beautiful man <laughs> Woo! and the lord said he ain't gonna forget us man but Sion said verse 14 the lord hath forsaken me and my lord hath forgotten me can a woman forget her sucking child that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb yea they may forget yet i will not forget thee the lord ain't gonna forget us man all right, I have graven thee upon the palm of my hands, and thy walls are continually before me, man. Okay, thy children will make haste, all right, thy destroyers, and they that made thee way shall go forth of thee. And they're going to see us, man. Lift up thine eyes round about, and behold, all these gather themselves together and come to thee. All right, and we're watching all of the, the these particular Israelites waking up, man, through the preaching of this word. There's power in this word, brothers. As I live, said the Lord, thou shalt, thou shalt surely clothe thee, all right, with them all, with an ornament, and bind them to me as a bride doeth, man. For thy waste and desolate places in the land of thy destruction shall even now be too narrow for by reason of the inhabitants that have swallowed thee up. So this is coming, man. This is speaking of what's happening now, man. Okay? Through the preaching of this word, okay, these men, all right, are bringing that doctrine that will heal. Verse 21 in 2nd Ezra 2, all right, heal the broken and the weak, laugh not the lame, the score, defend the maimed, let the blind man come into the sight of thy clearness, all right? Keep thine old and young within thy walls, within this truth, man, okay? <laughs> Woo. Verse 26 As for the servants whom I have given thee There shall not one of them perish For I will, cry, I will require them from among thy number man. They're going to be brought back into their lot man, And it's happening right here right now man. Okay Be not weary for when the day of trouble And heaviness cometh Others shall weep and be sorrowful But thou shalt be merry and have abundance why is that? Because wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of our times, man. 
The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, saith the Lord, if you take hold to that wisdom, man. My hand shall cover thee so that thy children shall not see hell. They're not going to see destruction, man. Woo! Man. This is a beautiful book, man. <laughs> oh, man. And when you go down here, verse 40, it says, Take thy number, O sign, and shut up those of thine that are clothed in white, which have fulfilled the law of the Lord, the elect. The number of thy children, whom thou longest for, is fulfilled. Beseech the power of the Lord, that thy people, which have been called from the beginning, may be hallowed. All right? May be hallowed, the people called from the beginning. All right? And that is the prophets, man, who he will raise up. Okay, and their counsel is sanctified, all right, and, and it's pure, and they will call before the foundation of the earth, man. Shalom. I know that was a lot, but hopefully I will edify.